My name's Richard Scott. I'm the Executive Principal at Thomas Clarkson Academy and soon to be a campus arrangement with a new school called the Wisbeach Academy. I'd come to Thomas Clarkson um, at a point when it wasn't doing that well in terms of its, its Ofsted rating, but also um, it had faced a number of difficulties and has, has done historically. In the job I'd done previously, I'd been involved very heavily in, in training people, and particularly training young people. Uh, and my love of history kind of combined with the train element of the job and decided actually I'm going to make a change, a career change, and I'll go into teaching. And not through any particular plan, but found myself working in a school that were, I think in those days would have been described, it was 20, 25 years ago, as a, as a sink school. Um, and began working there. And, and actually the difference I found that you could make as an educationalist in that context was huge. I think what's important about the, the, the membership is the framework it provides and it provides a structure, a really clear structure with which you can work towards as an organisation. It gives teachers um, a feeling of they're part of something that is planned working towards a definitive goal in their career development and therefore by um, making the decision to work close with the Chartered College. It gave the benefit of those structured pathways with accreditation at the end. So the school is benefiting from the work that's done on the ground, the action research projects and the, the testing out what is evidence-informed best practice on the ground with the youngsters in the school to the benefit of those youngsters, but at the same time providing accreditation for that teacher to develop themselves and in future give them the opportunities to apply for other jobs, to seek promotion, um, to develop their practice further professionally, whether it be at the, the, this school or at another school. The very fact these staff have embarked upon evidence-based or um, evidence impact work in the classroom and they are developing, many of them in an early stage of their career, developing those approaches means that they will hopefully forever lean into um, the, their practice as one being rooted in evidence and rooted in the best research available for how young people learn for example. And I think that is quite hard to measure, but I have no doubts in, t in terms of the way that the staff here have responded to these uh, projects, that they are going to be benefiting from that. And likewise, therefore, the school and the children will benefit in the long, long term. I think another immediately positive, if you like, impact has been the engagement these staff have had in these projects, and therefore their engagement in their professional development and the enjoyment they get from that. And with that level of engagement, um, in, in, in a bit more selfishly for the institution, we're also looking therefore at better retention of those staff. If we're investing in them and they're investing in their own careers in that way and they're enjoying doing so, well, there's a huge incentive for them to stay and commit to this school and therefore to the children. We've had very, very good um, staff retention and we've had a number of staff who've gone elsewhere and are coming back. And we. We certainly, anecdotally, in the conversations I'm having with those staff, is the professional development opportunities that we're giving them, and a big part of that has been the Chartered College. The experience we've had here at Thomas Clarkson has been nothing but positive, and it has led to a noticeable professionalisation of the staff and provided a, a really sound structure within which um, the staff can operate. I think the key benefits here are improving the skills and knowledge of my existing staff, um, encouraging them in their professional development and to improve further and ultimately to help retain them and recruit staff and to a degree become a centre of excellence in training within uh, the local area. One of the things that teachers um, have talked about is the way that it's encouraged them in their careers, encouraged them to develop, particularly in areas that they have an interest in. And I suppose the proof of the pudding is the fact that 
for a, a staff of 150 plus. We've only seen three staff uh, leave this year and uh, uh, I think one going overseas and a couple going on for promoted positions. So it's been, we're only saying goodbye to three staff at the end of this year, um, which is a sig significant re reduction, say a few years ago. Now, it won't be the only reason, but we certainly would say that it's a part of the story as to why retention has been better this year than it perhaps was a few years ago. And I've got a couple of staff from local schools who specifically, when they came to look for, um, well, they specifically came to the interview and came to look around the school, one of the reasons they gave for showing an interest in working within the school was they'd heard about the great professional development opportunities. Having a professional body that is very much focused on career development and that teaching is a profession much like uh, doctors are part of a profession or the legal profession. And I think at times historically the teaching profession has, or rather teachers have been seen somewhat as uh, as being part of a vocation and that you can just do teaching. Um, and there is an element of teaching which is certainly vocational. However, I think the focus on evidence-informed practice, the idea of accreditation towards career goals as part of an institute um, lends itself more to teachers being treated um, both internally and externally as professionals. Part of that is it is a profession that is always seeking to um, improve, to work with what the latest research says in terms of how young people learn and how to deliver the curriculum. So anything that provides a framework within which teachers can operate and be part of a professional organisation with a professional set of standards and is all seeking to better that profession in a way that doctors might or surgeons might can only be good for the profession um, and raise its status within not just within the profession but importantly as well I think uh, outside the profession as well and in the public eye. We will move from a relatively small group of staff who have been developing these skills and developing professionally as a consequence of the work that they've done into it being culturally that's just what happens at this school and as that builds momentum I would foresee the quality of teaching and learning, the quality of pedagogy in classrooms will improve further across the board and therefore we'll get a high level of consistency in that pedagogy that importantly means that the young people will get consistently good or better teaching that is informed by best practice um, and I think that's where we'll see further impacts later.